Hey, Shalom, Shalom, everybody. Shalom, better turn to the east, all right? millstone for pushing 100 percent truth and real well peace and salutations to the hopeful elect shalom this is bakayar amana aka uh mataza lakam okay bakayar amana means elect indeed mataza lakam means unleavened bread okay so anyway i just wanted to uh you know put my two cents in on these uh these uh amount uh, these these devils if uh, these caucasians Right uh, at the top, at the leap, uh, what was it? Um, Three hundred and twenty-seven to ninety-one voting for. They were voting for the uh, this uh, anti anti S bill, right? And uh, so they're going to pass that into a law to make it illegal for us to preach the Bible. They're going to make having the Bible in your possession a bad thing they can kick your goddamn door in 3 34 o'clock in the fucking morning bring you out in front of your yard in front of your wife and kids through summary execution under their fucking unrighteous and unjust decree okay and kill you in front of your family because you got a bible because you have a bible okay because you have a bible dude this is the wickedness of these goddamn devils, man. Okay, real talk. What the fuck? They're gonna kill me, right? For having a Bible? Yeah, they're gonna kill you for having a Bible. They're gonna put you in jail in a FEMA camp in a detention facility, green zone is what they call it. Okay, because they I fully expect two thirds of our people to flip, the, flip over, flip the script and take the radio frequency identification microprocessor, okay, underneath their skin. This is what they I that's this is the plan of these goddamn devils, man. This is their plan. They gotta push, they're running out of time, man. Revelation, okay, look. Revelation chapter 12. Okay. Verse 12, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth he hath but a short time. These motherfuckers are running out of time because they know that the son of God is almost here. The son of the most high God, his name is Yahweh Shai. He's in a fathership 30 times the size of the planet earth. You can put 30 uh, uh, planet sized earths inside the inside diameter and circumference of the ship, of the starship that is coming towards the earth. Two years ago, I think it was back in 2018, 2019, they had uh, a video of, of their long range telescope out in outer space of, a, of, a, of an object 30 times the size of the planet earth coming directly toward the earth. Okay, back in two, and they took that video down they keep taking it down because they know that it's a constant reminder that it's the end of their rulership. The Son of God is coming. All we had to do was call upon the name of Yahweh and in the name of Yahweh Shai and let them know of our vexation of spirit of being in captivity underneath these oppressive devils. Boom! He's on his way. These goddamn devils are scared to death. They know it's almost time for these in individuals to lose. Okay? Revelation chapter 12, verse 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevail not. Okay? So it's written thousands of years before these Edomite devils took power in the earth of the new Basra, the new capital city of the Edomites, America. Babylon the Great, Mystery Babylon, the mother of harlots, AKA freedom of religion, right? So it was already written. It was written in the biblical scriptures, motherfuckers, you guys was gonna lose anyway, okay? So your ideology is if I can't have it, you can't either. Is that right? 
That's not right. Why don't you just give up your uh, reins of power? Just lay it down. Fuck it. You didn't had it for over what a thousand years, damn near. You you had the Grecian Empire, you had the Roman Empire, and now you have the uh, American Empire. What the fuck? How many times do you have to get the motherfucking basketball and drop the ball and fumble the ball? You fumble the football every time. The Most High God three times gave you rulership over the entire motherfucking planet. Okay, three times, man, and you dropped the fucking ball. It's over, man. You can't get no more chances. How many chances do you need? And you're going to fuck it up again. Come on, man. You people were never meant to rule anything. You were meant to be slaves. It was already put in the ether by the Most High God, like it tells you in Genesis chapter 25, verse 22. Okay, let's get it. It was already written, man. That you goddamn devils was gonna fall down and lose, man. Genesis 25, verse 22. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, Who is she? Isaac, Esau, Edom, and Jacob, Israel's father, their mother, Rebekah, right? Isaac is the son of Abraham, friend to the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh the creator of the heavens, the earth, the sea, all that is therein in the foundations of water. Right? And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. There it is. So before you even came out of your mama's pussy, it was already predestinated in the ether, in the air, that you're gonna be a fucking slave, Esau the fuck are you mad at us for okay you had like i told you you had three different rulerships man grecian roman american what the fuck through the uh, the rebirth of the roman empire the empire of the edomites aka the renaissance period you went throughout the, all the earth and covered up all the truth that the israelites of the holy bible were black people okay you son of a godless devil okay Verse 25, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, right? And they called his name Esau, right? Which means in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew, wasted away is he, right? I saw it off, right? Verse 26, and after that, his brother came out. So clearly, his brother looked like everybody else in the earth, or else they would have described it with uh, with uh, descriptive words. The only person that was different from everybody on the earth at that time was Esau. That's the reason why he was described as red and hairy. All over. Like unto a, hair, a hairy garment. Probably came out with hair on his back. What the fuck I know? Right? Don't believe it? Google red babies. That's another reason why you're trying to take down the internet. You don't want nobody to know the truth. Okay? You want to continue to hide in, in obscurity and walk around in, uh, in, in, in plain sight and nobody know who you are. White man. Ain't that a bitch? There's nothing white about you devils. That lack of pigmentation is leprosy. Okay? All I did was I picked up a Bible and read it. Okay? These are the latter days where the Israelites will consider their salvation or the detriment of their destruction perfectly. Like it tells you in, in, Jer in the book of Jeremiah, I think it is 25. You see? So, I mean, come on, man. You're done. Why, why, I mean, you, I, I understand that you devils are gonna come after us. You know my IP address. You know where I live. You know where I work, okay? I know all of these things, okay? A brother put out a video, uh, I guess he works for the United States government. Uh, he said that persecution is coming. Okay. They're going to come to our job. They're going to come to our house. Right? And take us and put us in a black van, put a bag over our head, and then we end up in a fucking, in a, uh, in a room somewhere. In the police station or uh, on a military base. Okay. And we're going to be chained to the fucking table. 
where you can grill us for hours and hours and hours. Ain't gonna change a goddamn thing, man. Okay? The fact of the matter still remains that you are the Edomites, the Esau Edom, the so-called white man, okay? And the Israelites are dark race people of the Holy Bible. Everybody in here, even the fucking Egyptians were dark skinned race people. They're the Hamites, the Canaanites, okay? Those, those, the people that you call, the people that you call uh, North and South Africans, right? You know, how the fuck are you gonna go into a, 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 a land that's all dark skinned people? It's all dark skinned people, right? And then cut off a swath of that land and then call it South Africa and then move your white people in there and kill every goddamn body that has anything to do with living there. That's genocide, you son of a bitch. But they ain't telling you uh, about that in the mainstream media, okay? Then your people over here in, in Israel do the same thing to the Palestinians, which I don't give a shit about either one of them. I really don't, okay? I don't care about the Palestine. I don't give a shit about it, the uh, Zionist Israel. I don't give a shit about you motherfuckers. You're imposters. All of that land that you're fighting over is our land, okay? That's our land. Joel chapter 3 verse 2, let's get it. Right? Right? Check this out. I'm on a pit stop, Jeremiah 22 and 13. Right? Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness. Right? And his chambers by wrong. That useth his neighbor's service without wages and giveth him not for his work, right? Do you guys not hold back your wages? Every two weeks, we gotta wait two weeks to get paid. The biblical scripture says, you're supposed to pay a man a day's work for a day's pay. That's the law. You change the law and say, we're gonna hold it back for two weeks and then we're gonna tax you. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? You know, the IRS is illegal. Income tax is illegal by your own law. You see? And then you turn around and tell us that we're wrong for pointing it out. You got the Bank of International Settlements where you guys can run to over in Switzerland to avoid taxes. <laughs> I mean, you people are hypocrites. What the fuck? You want everybody else to pay you, but you don't want to pay up? By taxable earnings, by the 16th Amendment, taxable earnings as for corporations. The only people that are supposed to be taxed are corporations. The employees have wages. They're not taxable, but you find a way to tax us anyway, huh? Goddamn devil. <laughs> man, the most high gonna get you, man. I mean, you've done every goddamn thing wrong. Look. Second Ezra, well, no, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 15, verse 12, right? But they counted our life here a pastime our time here as a market for gain, right? For say they, we must be getting every way, though it be by evil means. Okay? Taxation without representation is evil. Okay, Edomite, and you're sitting up there telling the whole goddamn world that you're righteous. We're white people, but you'll goddamn kill and hang a dark skinned people who are the Israelites of the Holy Bible from a fucking tree for fun and invite everybody in the world of it in your world to take pictures while black men or black women's hanging from a goddamn a light post. Two or three hundred people out there taking pictures, having fun, having a goddamn picnic. Okay? But you're white. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, I tell you, man. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 9. For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto God. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? That is the true name of the Father, and the true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai. He came in his Father's name, and they did not accept him. But if a man come in his own name, that's the people that everybody accepts. Jeebus Cross. You know, the gay homosexual boyfriend of Leonardo da Vinci. Okay? You put up his image and then put that in the place of the son of the most high God. It tells everybody in the fucking world, God loves everybody. 
That's ungodly. Okay? For that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. So the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is coming to destroy you for this wicked idol made out of porcelain on a wooden crucifix of a a, a sleeping white man with a little bitty slit across his rib cage. Really? If any of these people would have made that movie Passion of the Christ, right, of a black man, you would have deliberately mistreated him, man. All of them whips and all of that shit would have been real. It would have made you turn your stomach, you'd have threw up on the fucking floor in the, in the movie theater. Okay? That's what you did to the son of the most high God. You think he's not coming back here to get revenge? You fucking idiot. He ain't coming back to fucking rapture you. Fuck you. You gonna be left here and melted. Just say it the Lord, it ain't me. I, I'm just I'm just a messenger. Okay? I'm just the messenger. That's it. Don't get mad at the messenger. I didn't give the message. God gave the message. I'm just the messenger. What the fuck? You wanna kill me for uh, giving you the message? Okay? I mean, boy, you people are, are, are wicked. Anyway, for the devising, therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles, shall there be a visitation. Because on the creature of God, they are become an abomination and stumbling blocks to the souls of men and a snare to the feet of the unwise. Who are the feet of the unwise? Two thirds of our people that are gonna be left here and melted. They're gonna be left here to be destroyed, right? The only reason they're gonna be left here and destroyed is because they believe that you Edomites are God's people. They believe that the Israeli converts over there that are imposters, okay, that are pretenders to the throne of the Israelites, okay, are, are God's people. And then they tell a lie and say that Amalek are the Palestinians, okay, in order to justify the systematic uh, G word, the G-E-N-O-S-I-D-E, -E, right, of an indigenous people. They're not indigenous to that land, but they've been in that land for a little while. Okay? Because we ain't been in that land for a while. Okay? When we left that land in 70 AD, okay, we ain't been back since. You see what I'm saying? The Most High Yahweh had expelled us. He exiled us from that land, okay? And he used the force of the means of doing that exile by you Edomite devils. And he had those imposters that are over there calling themselves uh, the J-E-Ws, right? Since you can't say it no more, it's against the goddamn law to tell the truth, right? Like, just like Orson Welles said, in a time of universal deceit, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act, right? Teddy Roosevelt, uh, when he was president, he said a thorough knowledge of the Holy Bible is better than a college education, right? So what the fuck? You mad at us because we're college educated? Tell them the truth. Well, uh, once we became educated, we found out the truth of the Holy Scriptures, we put two and two together. Two and two, okay, by adding two plus two together means four. It don't mean five or eight, like you've been telling everybody in the fucking world. Square root of two and this is just 1,200, right? You know, you Edomites, boy, the son of the Most High is coming to exterminate you devils, man. You gotta go, man. You ruined every goddamn thing. The food, the food ain't real, right? Okay, the water is poison. You, you put all kind of chemicals in the water, right? You uh, What else did you do? You destroyed two thirds of the fish in the sea. Okay. You got them swimming around in dirty water where they can't see no more because you made a delicacy of the vacuum cleaners and the bottom feeders of the ocean's floor that keeps the ocean clean, a delicacy in a fucking restaurant. Okay. I mean, you people are unreal, man. You people are, are, are unjust. You make these fast food restaurants which is a constant reminder that you sold your birthright to your brother. Why? Because of a fast food. Okay, because of fast food.
you sold your birthright to your brother for one morsel of meat. The Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh sees you as a, a vile person. Okay, let's get it. Let's see. So like you. Right? Isaiah chapter 32, verse 6. Okay, let's start at. Verse 4. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 4. The heart also of the rash shall understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammerers shall be ready to speak plainly. And that's what happened. We're, that's what we're out here now. We're speaking plainly the truth. We're breaking everything down. We're explaining to everybody in the fucking world who the true Israelites of the Holy Bible are, okay, and who these imposters are. Okay, so this way they'd be able to discern the difference between right and wrong. Okay, and the Most High Yahweh made it made us speak plainly, and gave us an opportunity to speak plainly on uh, all of these uh, 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 what do you call uh, uh, social media uh, platforms. Okay, we're not the only ones that know the truth. Your own people know the truth. Hell, they're starting to tell on you. Whistleblowers are coming out of the goddamn woodwork. Okay, so you're going to exterminate your own people. You're the type of individual that will cut off the head for a goddamn headache. Okay, if you break your arm, you're ready to cut the fucking arm off instead of putting it in a splint. <laughs> okay, that's the people you are, man. You eating my devils, man. You people got to go, man. You do everything wrong. Everything is backwards. <coughs> you spray chemicals in the fucking air. Okay, you spray chemicals in the air and say you're not doing it. Got to crisscross the airways all of the time. Okay, putting poisons in the air. Uh, uh, microtoxins that were designed to make us more pliable or uh, uh, more agreeable mentally when, when stress and duress is upon us. Okay, okay. You put that in the air. Wow. Really? This is how much you give a damn about your own people, let alone the Israelites that you have here in the, in the land of their captivity, in the land of drawing water, where we think upon the Lord perfectly. We call upon the true Hebrew name of the Most High and His Son. Okay? We found it out. Now you want to go back to Jesus Cross Pump shit. Okay? I'm not going back, man. Why? Why should I go back to calling upon a false god? Right? I'm not doing that bullshit no more. I'm sorry. Boom, let me see if I can shed a fucking tear or something. Okay? The vile person shall no more be called liberal, nor the churl said to be bountiful. Right? So the churl is a wicked person. Okay? The vile person is unclean lest any fornicator or profane person as Esau who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright that's why you got these fast food restaurants around here they're all over the fucking planet now you're reminding all of the different peoples of the earth who you are by setting up the fucking restaurants dude come on now you got everybody following in behind you Okay, you are a wicked, vile person. Verse 6, Isaiah 32, verse 6. For the vile person will speak villainy, and his heart will work iniquity. Right? Your heart is working iniquity right now. Okay, like it says over in, in Micah, chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity, and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand, right? Job chapter nine, verse 24, the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. 
Okay? So the Most High, Yah, he knows what you goddamn devils are up to, man. The Most High, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, is not going to allow you devils to put your hand on the apple of his eye. The elect and remnant of the seed of the house of Israel. Those individuals that he handpicked and chose by himself from the foundation of earth. Before it was a foundation of an earth. Okay? So, you people are finished, man. Okay? The faster you come against us as the Israelites of the Holy Bible, the more that you come against us, the quicker you're going to bring down your own downfall. Okay? It's that simple. And you're running out of time because the Son of the Most High is almost here. You keep in contact with him almost every day now. Okay? The Most High wants you to go ahead and push your wicked agenda. Okay? That's all he wants you to do. So this way he can destroy you already. <laughs> okay? Checkmate. You're fucked. And they covet fields and take them by violence. Did you not take the indigenous population of the people's land from them over here in America? The land of Asherah? Right? You took that land from the people that were already here. Okay? And houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. You oppress their heritage. You call yourself the Indian. Right? By the Dawes laws that allowed criminals and immigrants who were so-called white people that just got here, right, back in the early 1800s, the late 1700s, under the Dawes laws to come over here and buy 20, 30 acres of land for pennies on the fucking dollar. Right? Five dollar Indian. That's the reason why you Edomites for generation to generation to generation call yourselves Indians or the indigenous people. You're not indigenous. You Edomite devil. Your great great granddaddy stole this land, killed the people that were on it, put them in prison called a reservation and took over their land and came up with this thing called paperwork, okay, and put a deed out there for that land. Okay? And then you tell the indigenous population, the people whose land you stole, pick yourself up by your bootstraps. How the fuck you gonna do that when you own all of the goddamn boots? I mean, come on, man. You people are unrighteous, dude. You're ungodly, you're unrighteous, and you're unwise. Because the faster that you put together your wicked agenda to come against the Israelites of the Holy Bible, okay? The faster the Son of God gonna get here and put you down. He's gonna put your dick in the dirt. Okay? You're finished. You're a done deal already. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, against this family, right? The family of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, right? Against this family, that particular family of the Edomites, the tabernacles of Edom, right do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks neither shall ye go heartily with your chest puffed out because you're proud to be an American for this time is evil what is the evil time? the day of the Lord okay Jacob's trouble the great tribulation right so the faster you implement the great tribulation, Jacob's trouble, an evil time, the evil day, the day of the Lord, the faster you're going to be destroyed, man. You eat them out, you're done. The son of the most high God has had enough of your goddamn bullshit and your shenanigans. You put your face up as opposed to the son of the most high God who created you in the womb? Really? Yep, you got to go, man. <laughs> Right? Oh yeah, I got another sign out here. Okay, I can't zoom in or nothing, but I got another sign right there. Right? It says Hebrew Israelite. It gives you a picture of brass and burnt brass. What burnt brass looks like. Okay. 
gives you a picture of it. What an Hebrew Israelite would look like. What the son of the most high God would actually look like. Revelation 1 and 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like undefined brass as if they burned in a furnace. So I give you a piece of fine brass burnt in a fire, in a furnace right next to it. So what it looks like, right? Don't nobody else fit that complexion, but Israelites, the so-called black Hebrew Israelites that you Edomite devils are calling niggers, right? Black people, right? This entire book is our history book. It's about black people and their disobedience to their God and how he will save his people from their own wickedness by sending his son who was a Negro from the tribe of Judah. He was not a Christian. Christianity did not come back until after he left. Okay? What the fuck? You just, we just gonna continue to tell a lie to you. Fucking devil. That's what's wrong with the world. Everybody on the planet are confused. They ain't got a clue as to what's going on. Right? Now, let's get back to Isaiah 32. So I can. Isaiah 32, verse 6. For the vile person will speak villainy. Right? Like it tells you also in Isaiah 10 and 1, right? That they're going to make unrighteous decrees and grievous law that they prescribe to turn aside the needy from judgment to take away the right of the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. What are you going to rob the fatherless of? Eternal salvation by telling them that they're not the people by taking their mantle, the people's mantle upon yourself and say that you are the only people that can make it out of here that can be saved. Right? When you got to worship a blonde haired, blue eyed homosexual with long hair. It is a shame for a man to have long hair. The Bible tells you that. What did you do? You wear long hair like a bitch. And then you get mad about it when you put his picture up. Oh, that's Jesus Christ. He got a bitch. That's not his name. The letter J was created over 500 years ago and entered into the English language, into the Italian vernacular. Okay? That Letter J, it's not his name. There's 1,500 years he was named something else. What was his name? What was his son's name if thou canst tell? See, that's what I'm talking about. You get mad because we point out points in the Bible that you've been overlooking for centuries, doing the shit on purpose. Saying it's okay for a grown man to walk down the goddamn street with long hair like a woman. It's okay for a grown man to wear a fucking dress. Okay, the most high y'all will buy shit y'all was y'all gonna bring put that shit down, man. It tells you in Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Let's get it. Let's get it. Since you gonna uh you gonna put me in prison anyway. Right? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, and the man shall not put on a woman's garment. But you say it's okay for the transhumanistic agenda. It's okay for a grown man to wear a goddamn dress like a woman, put on lipstick like a woman, wear a fucking wig like a woman, and teach that to our school at, 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 to our kids at school. Right? It's okay. Another reason why the Son of God is coming to destroy your entire rulership. Okay? That's why he's doing it. You're doing everything opposite of what the Most High God had instructed his people to do. And when you took rulership, you Edomite devil, you twisted everything upside down. Okay? That's the reason why he's going to put you down, Edomite devil. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is the name of the Father. Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is the name of the Son. Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shah. Yahweh means he is, okay? He exists. 
Yahweh Shah means he is salvation. Okay? These are ancient Paleo Hebrew names. The names of a Hebrew God and the names of the son of the Hebrews, of the Israelites. Right? He ain't no fucking Christian. There's only two biblical references in the entire Bible about Christianity. Just two. And you created an entire religion on the beer shit. Don't make sense. Right? You got Catholicism, Evangelical Christianity, Universalist ideology. You got four and a half billion people believing that bullshit. Another reason why he's coming to get you, man. You can't win. The son of the Most High God is coming to get you, man. You can't win, dude. Okay? It's already biblically prophesied like I read in Revelation 12 and 7. Right? Thus, any, no place was found anymore in heaven. Right? You prevailed not. Okay? You're going to fight against the son of the Most High in the heavens, and you're not going to win. Let's get it. Second Ezra, chapter 13. So like it. Second Ezra, chapter 13. Verse 3. And I beheld and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. It tells you the same thing in the book of Jude. Okay? That man is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. He waxed strong because he has spiritual power. He told you that he would not meet thee as a man. Okay? Look what happened the last time you met him as a man. You sprung him up on a fucking tree and crucified him for nothing. Okay? He didn't even bust a grape in a fruit fight. And you thrust him through with a 12 inch spike. And you put a foot long railroad spikes through his hands and his feet. Okay? That's what happened when he met you as a man. He's not gonna meet you as a man this time. So that man waxing strong is Yahweh Shah Hamashiach coming back to get his just revenge. He been waiting two whole days. A day to the Lord is a thousand years to us, and a thousand years to us is as one day unto the Lord. So he been waiting two full days. He ain't forgot nothing. Okay? It tells you the same thing in Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Every eye shall see him, even those that pierced him. Right? How does that go? Well, it's a such thing called reincarnation. You are your fathers in the reincarnation. Your great, great, great granddaddy stole this land from the people and you're reaping off the benefits of it in the reincarnation four generations later. Okay, come on now. White privilege, white supremacy was set up by bloodshed, rape, and murder. Okay? And I beheld and lo, that man, Yahweh Shai, waxed strong with spiritual power with the thousands of heaven, the angels, right? And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things troubled, troubled that were seen under him, right? So like it tells you in Matthew 24, all the tribes of the earth shall mourn, right? You're gonna be scared Oh my God, it's an alien invasion! Ah! Right? That's exactly what you're gonna do. Run for the hills! Okay? Trying to get to an underground bunker. It's gonna be too late! Okay? And you wanna exterminate us? For telling the truth? It's time that the truth came out! Let's get 2nd Ezra chapter 6. Right? Verse 27. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. 
corruption shall be overcome and the truth which has been so long without fruit shall be declared. There's nothing, the truth is being declared, Edomite. Everybody in the world knows who you are now. Okay? The whole world is going to rise up against you. Nothing can be done about it now. You're fucked on so many different levels. So, you, yeah, go ahead and bring your uh, martial law. Go ahead and bring Jacob's trouble. Let's hurry up and get it over with because we're sick and tired of the bullshit. Okay? Just get it over with. Go on and do what you got to do. Because this is the last rulership you ever going to get. Not a hair of their heads shall be harmed of the elect of the house of Israel. Even if you put us to death, the son of God going to raise us up from the dead. It'd be like we don't, we don't even know what happened. What happened? They, they knocked me out. I don't remember. Okay? See? So, us, you, you killing us ain't going to change the fact that you're going to be exterminated. That you're going into chains and slavery. Nothing's going to change that. Okay? It tells you in Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Ye that have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed by the sword. This is the faith and the patience of the saints. Who are the saints? Psalms 148, verse 14. Let's get it. So you know who the saints are. Devil, it ain't you. Eat a mic. Let's get it. Psalm 148, verse 14. He also exalted the horn of his people. The praise of all his saints. Who is he? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The creator of the heavens, the earth, the sea, all that is therein in the foundation of water. Okay? His name ain't God. His name ain't Jehovah. Ain't no Yahweh. These are all mistransliterations deliberately on purpose to, mis, uh, uh, to mislead the Israelites of the Holy Bible that are black people. Okay? This is our history book. You punk. You wasn't going to get away with it forever. Did, is that what you thought? Okay? He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, of people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. If the Israelites of the Holy Bible by Vladimir Putin states that all the people in the Bible are black people, then the children of Israel are black people. And the Mosai is going to exalt the horn of his people. What is the horn? Horn represents power, rulership. Dominion. Okay, so he's going to raise up the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, and keep his commandments. Right? That's it. That's all we were supposed to do. We ain't kept his commandments to this day. This whole book is a message to the Israelites. No one else. Ain't nobody gonna get saved but the Israelites. That's what you don't like. You got imposters over there telling everybody in the world that they're God's people and they're exterminating by genocide an indigenous population of people for nothing. That's bloodshed, man. Why? Okay? Benjamin, nothing, not a Jew. He knows that he's going to be brought up on charges for treason and war crimes of genocide. Right? And the world living in the world tribunal where they had Muammar Gaddafi, they had Saddam Hussein, they had all of these different individuals that decided to work outside of the hegemony of Esau Edom's white man power structure, white privilege, white supremacy, and the uh, Bank of International Settlements, which is the hub of all central banks here in America and the world at large, right? 
they wanted to go outside of that and deal with uh, with the other countries in gold and silver, like the Bible tells you to do, right? That fiat currency, paper money, okay? There's nothing to back it up. There's no proof that the gold exists to back it up. That's the reason why you're trying to get rid of it and push the microprocessor and say our money is digital now, okay? What happens if you run into an electromagnetic pulse, you stupid bastard? Did you ever stop to think about that? You're gonna lose all your money and power and rulership right then. You're gonna push your military, the people are gonna fight back. You got more people than you got in your military. The only way you're gonna win is thermonuclear destruction on both sides of the, of the pond. Vladimir Putin can't wait to use ICBM avant-garde missiles against you. They'll be over here in less than 15 minutes. Blowing up every goddamn thing. Texas, New York, California, Kansas. Okay, but that's what you want. You think you're safe in those underground bunkers. You forget that the people that made those underground bunkers have blueprints of where they're at and sent them on the internet to friends and family all across the world to dig your ass out of the ground and put you in chains, you fool. You're finished. On so many different levels, it doesn't make any sense. They're not gonna make a move until you make yours. Okay? It's not our fault. It's biblical, man. Okay? Wow. The saints, Psalms 140 and 48 and 14, he exalted the horn of his people the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, of people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. Right? And you mad about it. Why? Right? Psalms chapter 34, verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, right? So we made it quite, quite clear that the people that do evil in the earth is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the devil the Bible speaks of, okay? In the 1500s and early 1600s, your white women would go and have sex with dark-skinned men because the white men were having sex with little boys. Okay? That's the reason why you're trying to legalize pedophilia. Okay? Under the, uh, the banner of the Rainbow Coalition, the alphabet community, right? The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Right? The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. So Jacob's trouble is coming, but all we have to do is call upon his name and he will deliver us. Like I said before early in the video, a brother put a video out that today uh, of somebody that works for the United States government warning us that they, they know our IP address, they know where we live, they know where we work, they know our parents, they know everything about us. Okay? And asked, will we have the faith to suffer that type of persecution? To have our faces plastered all over mainstream media in different platforms as a domestic terrorist? Right? We're not D, we're not T E R R O S R I S T. We're not. All we're doing is preaching out of a Bible on a street corner on a soapbox. That makes a person a T E R R O R I S T? Really? I gotta fucking spell it because YouTube won't let you say the word. They'll take down the video. 
So all of the edification of spirituality and salvation for the Israelites can't be heard. They know that these goddamn Edomite devils are finished. They're going to be left here and melted. Ain't no rapture. And you can't find the word rapture anywhere in this book. It ain't there. I looked. Rapture. Ain't that a bitch? We're going to be caught up in the clouds with Hamashiach Yahweh The person you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, punk. Sitting up there telling a the fucking lie. You even got the angels believing that bullshit. Okay? You got to go, man. The most I done had enough of your bullshit. Okay? You had three chances to rule the earth, and you ruled it in wickedness. You did not rule it in balance, as a per instruction. You got that goddamn star rim fan, 360 degrees of righteousness, 360 degrees of wickedness, right? But you don't live by it. Okay, and you got the star of your fan over there. Okay, that's the star of a false god. Okay, you put that up on your Israeli flag. The star of your fan, that's not the star of David. King David knew better than to have an idol. Okay, King David didn't have idols and statues that he worshipped. If he found anybody that had a statue of worship, he would kill them. Okay? That's King David. That's reason you don't make no movies about King David, do you? You'll make a movie about Moses and cover up and take the truth out of it. Okay? You'll make a movie about Yahweh Shah and you'll take the truth out of it that is only for the Israelites and no one else. You put yourself up as a Gentile, right? So you can be saved. You'll mix your bloodline with the Israelites of the Holy Bible, okay, in order to hide yourself amongst the people of God, right? But you refuse to tell the truth. The truth has become a terror unto the wicked, right? So you come out here and you threaten us and threaten our lives and our freedom and our, and our families. Make us, you better stop preaching against us or we're on this, or we're gonna do that. You unrighteous devil, the son of the most high God in heaven, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, whose name is Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, he said these things would come upon us. Paul the apostle said these things would come upon us for standing for truth and righteousness in a world filled with wickedness and iniquity. Okay? So we had to count the cost. I'm gonna lose everything. My family, they're gonna turn against me. My woman, she gonna turn me in, right? My kids gonna turn against me. Everybody gonna turn against us. But the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah said he's gonna repay us and give us a hundredfold of what we lost. Okay? Psalm chapter 34, verse 18. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. A contrite spirit is a humble spirit. A broken heart are the hearts of the Israelites that are all under oppression. Right? You Edomites don't fit that narrative because you're proud. Right? Jeremiah. Chapter. Chapter 50. Right? Verse 5. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces in the word, upwards, right? Saying, come, let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. Okay, so that's what we've done here in these last days. 
you know, we're trying to attach ourselves to the covenant of promise of eternal salvation, which is a rulership over our enemies. Right? My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds, which are these false pastors and prophets, have caused them to go astray, saying that the law is done away with. God loves everybody bullshit. No, he doesn't. He only loves the Israelites. Okay? Now, the Israelites come in all forms, shapes, sizes, and colors now. Like it tells you in uh, Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 9. My inheritance is as unto me is as a speckled bird. All the fowls around come about, come around to devour, right? So all the nations of the world are the other fowls and birds that have come to devour us, to destroy us. Like it tells you in 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 57. Okay, let's get that. Precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Right? That's how you read the Bible. You just don't read it through like it's a beautiful storybook, you know, and not get no edification out of it. Right? Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 57. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have become to be lords over us and to devour us. Right? But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. Right? The earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. The children of Israel have been scattered abroad through the four corners of the earth. Okay? So in every nation are Israelites. That's what it means by the earth being given into the hand of the wicked. Okay? If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Right? That's what we're out here crying on the street corners, calling upon the name of Yahweh and in the name of Yahweh Shai. Okay? All we're doing is telling the truth to your face, whether you were here or forbear. And you're mad about it, pissed off about it. Want to push unrighteous decrees and grievous law that you prescribe to turn, a, to turn aside the needy of our people from judgment, right? You want them to do what they want to do. Do as thou wilt. You don't want them to come back to the Lord and repent. Right? So the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, he's going to move you people out of the way. Let's go back and further and prove that the Israelites of the Holy Bible are from the tribe of Jacob. Remember Jacob wrestled an angel and his name was turned from, uh, from Jacob to Israel, right? And Jacob had 12 sons about four different women. Remember that? The only people that he's coming back to save are the Israelites. He ain't coming back to save everybody. Okay? Second Ezra chapter 3, verse 13. Verse 12. And it happened that when they that dwelt upon the earth began to multiply and had gotten them many children and were a great people, they began again to be more ungodly than the first. Right? So they began to be more wicked than the, uh, they were in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Right now, today. Okay? Now when they lived so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee a man from among them, 
whose name was Abraham. Right? Him thou lovest, and unto him only thou showedest thy will. And made an everlasting covenant with him. Not with Esau, Edom, not with Moab, and not with Ishmael. Okay? He made an everlasting covenant with Abraham. Okay? Promising him that thou wouldst never forsake his seed. Okay? And unto him thou gavest Isaac, and unto Isaac thou gavest Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob, thou didst choose him to thee and put by Esau. So the Lord said, come here, Jacob. Come here, be my friend. Be my, be, be my son. And pushed your ass, Esau. So Esau, get your ass away from me. Go over there. Okay? And so Jacob became a great multitude. Okay? Let's go get more proof of that. Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sirach, chapter 44, verse 19. Abraham was a great father of many people. In glory there was none like unto him. Right? Who kept the law of the Most High and was in covenant with him. He established the covenant in his flesh. And when he was proved, he was found faithful. Therefore, he assured him by an oath that he would bless the nations in his seed and that he would multiply him as the dust of the earth and exalt his seed as the stars of heaven. and cause them to inherit from sea to sea and from the river unto the utmost part of the land. With Isaac did he establish likewise for Abraham his father's sake, the blessing of all men and the covenant. The only people that can be called the men are Israelites. The Most High God looks at everybody else as a wild brute beast because they have no law to govern them. Okay? Do as thou will, right? And made it to rest upon the head of Jacob. He acknowledged him in his blessing and gave him an heritage and divided his portions among the 12 tribes did he part them okay so the covenant has been left from Isaac through Jacob through his 12 sons Judah, Benjamin Levi, Simeon Zebulon, Ephraim Manasseh, Gad Reuben, Naphtali Asher and Issachar, right? Who are these people today? Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Dominicans, Guatemalans and Panamanians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, North American Indians, Seminole Indians, Argentinians and Chileans, El Salvadorians, Colombians, Uruguayans, Venezuelans, Brazilians, and the Mexicans. Okay? So the covenant is with them. I didn't mention nowhere in there about Esau and Edom being in covenant. The Most High God chose Jacob and put Esau off to the side. Why? Because Esau despised his birthright. He sold it for one morsel of meat. He sold his birthright, immortality, and the kingdom of heaven for the modern day equivalent to a fucking pot roast. A can of Campbell's soup, red pottage and lentils. Okay? 
He sold it to his brother. For a pot roast? Really? You were that fucking hungry? And then in to that, as a constant reminder, you put up fast food restaurants. That constant reminder that you're a fucking idiot. And you sold immortality in the kingdom of heaven on earth for a fucking pot roast. You're stupid. You despised your birthright. You sold it. It was a gift from the most high God in heaven, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. You idiot. You can't get it back, even by default. You can't get back your birthright that you sold. Okay? The Lord won't give it back to you. Even if you killed us all up, the God of heaven would give the covenant to another nation. But it won't be you Edomites. Okay? Because you rejected him. You were the first one to reject him. You rejected God over a fucking pot roast. So you ain't never gonna get your uh, birthright back. God gave it to you. God took it away from you. Blessed be the Lord. God giveth, God taketh away. Right? Ain't that what Job said? When uh, the Most High allowed Satan to kill his family? The God giveth and the God taketh away. Blessed be the Lord. Right? Ecclesiastes chapter 43 verse 28. How shall we then be able to magnify him? For he is great above all his works. The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary. For ye can never go far enough. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Right? You Edomites tell everybody in the world that the law is done away with. What's to stop you from killing me? Or stop us from killing you then? If there is no law. You are an ungodly, unrighteous, lawless people. That's the reason why. The Most High God says that you despised your birthright, you rejected the Lord, and then you in turn were rejected. For Esau found no place of repentance, though he sought it out carefully with tears. You're still trying to seek out repentance. You're not going to be able to repent, Edomite. It's over with. You're the only race of people on the earth that cannot repent. Okay? The Lord will not accept your plea. You have been rejected. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Lest any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For as ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it out carefully with tears. Okay? And you're still trying to seek out repentance. How? God rejected you. It don't matter what you do. God gonna spit in your face. Okay? And tell you to get your ass over there. I'll deal with you later. Okay? That's what he's gonna do, man. Okay? There's no repentance for you Edomite devils. You Caucasians. You can't get into the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven will be here on earth. The world was made for our sakes, the sake of the Israelites. It was made for us. It was made for you and every goddamn body else. That's the reason why the Most High is going to exterminate you and put you in chains. For a thousand years, you're going to be slaves. And after that, we're going to gather you up and burn you to a crisp. You Edomites cannot win.
Ecclesiastes chapter 43, verse 31. Who has seen him that he might tell us, and who can magnify him as he is? There are yet here greater things than these be, for we have seen but a few of his works. The grass, the sky, right, the sun, the moon, right? This is just a few of his works. NASA put out a picture that the Most High God has been expanding the universe. Right? So Esau Edom thinks that he can measure the heavens above by sending out his satellites into outer space. Esau thinks that he can get to the bottom of the Mariana Trench to measure the, uh, the, uh, the circumference of the earth. But he hasn't made it yet. He's been telling the goddamn lie on Jean Cousteau and all of these other channels. They just found species that were created by the Lord that they've never seen before at the bottom, right? They still haven't got to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, right? If the foundations of the earth beneath can be measured, if the heavens above can be measured, then I will cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith the Lord. And this is Esau's only way that he could get back his birthright. To get back into the good graces of the Lord. Was to send a satellite in outer space to measure outer space. And to get to the bottom of the earth through the ocean and the Pacific. To see how far he can get before the pressure of the ocean would crush him. Right? See? These devils are done, man. For the Lord hath made all things, and to the godly hath he given wisdom. Right? So we know. We know what's going on now. Okay? The reason why we know what's going on is because the Most High God had had mercy upon us here in these last days and given us mercy and given us back our wisdom. So we would not be able to discern the difference between the godly and the ungodly and to know the difference between righteousness and unrighteousness. Let's get that. Malachi chapter three, verse 18. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the most high and him that serveth him not. Okay, so we're making a difference and we're putting the words of the Most High out plainly so this way the people will be able to understand the difference between the godly and the wicked okay but you want to destroy us anyway right this is the prayer that we asked for and we got through the ancient Paleo Hebrew in order to get back our wisdom and understanding. Abba, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Babakwasha, Nathaniya, Ha Raka, Shall Hakama, Wama Asha, La Maya, Ha Kohao, Shall Bayamka, Wa Yawasa, Ha Abadka, Ha Raka, Shall Bayawan, Baba Yan, Babakwasha, 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 Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, to walk the water. Father, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, please give me the spirit of wisdom and reject me not from the assembly of thy son and add unto thy servant the spirit of understanding. Please, 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 Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Good, thank you. Okay? Yaaf Nawa, La Kwataza, La Iwalamya. Right? Be with us to the end and forever, amen. Okay, so we try to do everything that we can to make it the words of the biblical scriptures plain upon tables as a per instruction. And these devils want to come against us to, ex to exterminate us uh, with what is uh, the Rex 84 plan uh, that was uh, 
a plan that was set up in 1984 by President Ronald Reagan that allows for the rounding up of 21 million to 48 million black Hebrew Israelites. Okay? By the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Right? During times of civil unrest and martial law. Right? You've got Operation Garden Plot. Okay? Where Operation Garden Plot, you go to all of the small cities and from uh, from state to state installing military personnel and removing sheriffs, police department, hospitals, and fire departments. Everything is run by the government. Okay? Operation Cable Splicer. Okay? You go into small cities and replace them with military troops. Watch it. Hey, young man. Hey, hey, you know you wanted the Israelites of the Holy Bible, eh? Well, I mean, have you have you thought about uh, trying to do what you can to, you know, to try to get get saved and get on out of here, man? Well, honestly, y'all, uh, I just kind of take it every, you know, one step at a time, you know? I, I can't rush God's blessing. Everybody's got their own belief. I can't force it on nobody. Right. Well, I'm not trying to force no, anything. No, 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 no. By no means, I didn't mean it like that. I, I wasn't trying to offend you or nothing like that. It was just, you know what I mean? Um, uh, well, I mean, so 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 what you saying? You ain't ready yet? Not everybody's ready. You know what I mean? Hey, half these people out here ain't ready. You know what I mean? Right. Well, it's, see, it's that's the reason. Real, it's a real commitment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, by, by by going by what you're walking by. You know what I mean? salvation and the name of Yahweh means he is yes, sir. okay you see a lot of people don't understand that they think it's Yahweh or uh, Yahushua no those are, are mistransliterations of the actual name because there's no J right there's no letter J okay there's a sign over here like this check this out did you know right the letter J is no more than 500 years old how can a man who lived over 2,000 years ago be named Jesus. It's impossible for the, uh, Jesus to be the name above all names. It's impossible. Yeah. Are you reading that, Christian? Read that. <laughs> man, you motherfuckers that goddamn bullshit. You have to believe that shit, man. They do. They really do. Right? I'm telling you people what your market means to you. You know, people don't understand it. They don't uh, get it. Like, they'll, they'll be the same people that, that think that Triple Six is the market to Yeah. Stupid motherfuckers, man. <laughs> okay, check it out. This is the mark of the beast. Yes, sir. Right? It's a radio frequency identification chip the size of a grain of rice that they want to put underneath your skin. In your right hand or your left hand, it don't matter. Okay? It, it has your biometrics and your medical card. Okay, your insurance. Then it's got your metal, your, uh, your uh, digital identification for who you are. And then it's got your money on it. That's the reason why they want to make all the money digital. Because the fiat currency is useless. Check this out. The false image of Yamashiach, right? Let's get it. The false image of Yamashiach. Matthew 24 and 4. And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, 
for many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach and shall deceive many. This way boys here is that picture. That picture right here, man, that's this way Borgia. Yes, that's the son of Rodolfo, Rodolfo Borgia, his father also known as Pope Alexander the Sixth. Right? Revelation 1 and 14, his head and his hands were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like under fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. On this side, I got a picture of burned in a furnace. This is what the burned in the furnace is. Okay? This is the same vessel. One from above it before they put it in there, yes, sir. and one after. It's the same thing. Burnt brass. Don't nobody look like that but us. Yes, sir. Okay, same thing. Job chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black. Lamentations chapter 5, verse 10. Our skin was black like an oven. Why were Joseph, Moses, and Paul the apostle mistaken for Egyptians? They were all mistaken for Egyptians. Egyptians are Hamites. You know what? Them Africans is pitch fucking black. Yeah. Okay? So, Joseph, Moses, and Paul were mistaken for Egyptians, man. In three different biblical scriptures, right? What made the Hawashah family think that they could go to Egypt and blend? You can't blend this peck of wood. Okay? You can't blend this peck of wood over here. In Africa. He gonna stand out like a goddamn sore thumb. Okay, come on, man. See, they've been pushing a fucking lie so long, they actually believe their own bullshit. Yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, brother, I'm about to get up out of here, man. I'm going to slide through on the way back, man. Okay. All right, you can say, keep preaching what you're preaching, man. I'm trying to, man. They just pushed They just pushed the law. They made a law saying it's illegal for us to preach and uh, making the Bible illegal. They just passed the law Saturday. We're waking up too fast, yeah? That's right. See? So yeah, yep, we waking up, right? We waking up, and you know the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is having mercy on His people by waking them up, making them aware that they are the Israelites. The only people that are going to get out of here are Israelites. Okay, everybody can't be saved. That's a lie. Evangelical Christianity been telling the goddamn lie for over a thousand years. See. Lion crackers, the most high finna do, he finna do away with your entire fucking race for telling the goddamn lie, right? Shamar, Hakzak, Amawanya, La Quartaza. Keep strong my faith unto the end. Bahashim Yahushai Hamashiach, right? In the name of Yahushai Hamashiach, right? Ayan, La Yakal, La Ha Quartaza. La Ayla, La Ha Marakab, Shaw, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Hot the Wak Shaw, Hot Requiyan. In the name of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, I pray to endure to the end, to ascend to the chariots of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, in the midst of the sky. Okay? See, these devils, they know that their time is short, man. They're running out of time. You know? They hate it. Right? Let's go get Isaiah 64, verse 6. Yeah. But we are all as an unclean thing, but we are all as an unclean thing, and our, our righteousness, righteousness is are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. Right? And there is none that calleth upon thy name that stirreth up himself to take hold of thee. Right? For thou hast hid thy face from us, and hast consumed us because of our iniquities. But now, O Lord, thou art our father, we are the clay, and thou art our potter, and we are all the work of thine hand. Be not wroth, very sore, O Lord, neither remember the iniquity forever. Behold, see, we beseech thee, we are all thy people. Okay? So we try to do everything we can to tell the Lord, hey man, we didn't have enough of these goddamn devils in their oppressive uh, behavior toward us. 
Now they want to kill us for our iniquities. Okay. Will you remember our iniquity forever? Is there no mercy with the Most High? Right? So, you know, that's the reason why we, we came out here. The mercy of the Most High God is in his servants, the prophets. Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So he sent us out here one more time to warn our people to wake up, study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, seek out of the book of the Lord and read where none of the biblical prophecies in the book shall fail concerning our eternal salvation. You know, imploring of the Lord to remember us in the day of, of, of affliction and to forgive our iniquities and, uh, and our unrighteousnesses. Right? Isaiah 65, verse 1. I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me, unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out mine hands all day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. And the young man that just left, he said he's not ready in order to give his life over to the Lord. He still, he got tattoos on his face, tattoos all over his body, trying to fit in with the world. You see what I'm saying? So all we're trying to do is get our people to wake the fuck up, man. It's over. These Edomites are trying to are, are pass the law saying that it is unlawful to be anti-Semitic. Well, how the fuck does that work? Okay, if Jacob and Esau, the so-called white man, Amalek, right, come from Isaac, which come from Abraham, which come from Eber, which come from Shem, right? How can we be called and calling, saying that we're anti-S word? How the fuck does that work? That doesn't make any sense. That's hypocrisy. That's our brother. Call, that's like the pot calling the kettle black. You know? <laughs> Dude rides down the street with a uh, Mexican flag with a painted on his on the trunk of his truck talking about no fat bitches. <laughs> I mean, man, our people are completely lost. Do you hear me? Our people are lost, man. They have no clue as to what is going on. And they will not, I repeat, they refuse to stop by here and ask. If we don't stop them from killing themselves, they'll just walk right off a goddamn cliff. Okay, it's crazy, man. Right? Isaiah 65, verse 3. A people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face that sacrifice this in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things is in their vessels. So our people eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, right? Abominable things in their vessel, in their body, right? Every day. And we try to tell our people to try to correct them, but they don't want to hear it. Right? Which stand by thyself and say, Come not near me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose and a fire that burneth all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but I will recompense, even recompense, into their bosom. So the Most High God, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, is going to pay us back for our continued disobedience and not keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. So what we try to do is, as the prophets, one last time before the destruction ensues, we try to persuade our people to come back home, to fear the Most High God and keep his commandments. White man teaches God, don't, uh, God loves everybody. There's no need to fear him. Right? This is the 
unrighteous law and unrighteous decree that these devils have pushed upon the world. They actually believe their own bullshit. They really do, man. It's crazy. You see what I'm saying? So we try to do everything we can to try to help our people as per instructions by the Holy Scriptures. Okay? That's all we're trying to do. Okay? I brought some uh, some new pictures out here, you know, so it's this way to give a people a, a better breakdown of what it means by fine brass as though it's burned in a furnace. Like it tells you in, uh, in Revelation chapter 1, verses 13 or 14 through 15. Right? And I give them a picture of what a Hebrew Israelite would look like. His hair, were, uh, of his hair, of his hair were white like wool, as white as snow. Let's go take a look. Right? This is what I was trying to show the young man, but he didn't see it. He wasn't paying attention. This is what a Hebrew Israelite would look like. Look like a, a Negro man, don't it? Right? Look like a Negro man. See it now? Look like a black dude. On a black man, right? His hair and his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Don't nobody look like that but a Negro man. Okay. Isaiah 28 and 10. For a precept must be upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. See? So I try to do the best I can by bringing education and edification to whom is ever willing to listen. And even if they ain't willing to listen, I'm gonna tell them anyway. Hey, young man, have you ever thought about your eternal salvation, where you gonna spend eternity? You see what I'm saying? They ain't thought twice about it. They don't give a fuck. All they wanna do is get high, get drunk, and get boxed. See? How can a man then cleanse his own way? By adhering to the word of the Most High, being washed in the spirit, being washed by the word, changing your mind, renewing your body every day with prayer and supplication to before the Lord. You know, that's how to get saved. That's how you get out of here, man. Repent, leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever, right? Second Ezra, chapter two, verse thirty-three. Second Ezra, uh oh, like this. Second Ezra, chapter two, verse thirty-three. Right? I, Ezra, received a charge of the Lord upon the Mount Oreb that I should go unto Israel. But when I came unto them, they set me at naught and despised the commandment of the Lord. Right? You just heard out of the lips of the young man, you know, they want to set me over to the side, man. I'll come back later. Lied to my face. No, and he ain't never trying to come back. See? If he do, it will surprise me. Okay? Right? Verse 34. And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen that hear and understand, look for your shepherd. He shall give you under everlasting rest, for he is nigh at hand and shall come in the end of the world. Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 9 for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow him see be ready to the reward of the kingdom for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore flee the shadow of this world receive the joyfulness of your glory I testify my savior openly who is our savior Yahweh Shah Hamashiach whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. 
that porcelain printer wood on a wooden crucifix on everybody's wall at home. That picture of that Edomite, blonde-haired, long-haired, leprous devil, Sister Ray Borgia, right? However, the Son of the Most High, I just showed you, looks like that. Okay? Skin is fine brass as though it's burned in a furnace. Burnt brass. Fine brass. See? You know, because people be looking at me like, fine brass, what does that mean? What does that, you know? So I found me a picture on the internet, blew it up, put it up three foot by two feet, so this way it's big enough that people can read it. They can see it and understand it. And then on the other side, you got the picture of Yahweh Shah and, uh, and, and that, that, uh, that false imposter, Sister Ray Borgia. Right? Second Ezra chapter two, verse 37. Oh, receive the gift that is given you and be glad, giving thanks unto him that hath called you to the heavenly kingdom. Right? Verse 38. Arise up and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. Right? Now we all know that those are going to be sealed are 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes of Israel, like it tells you in Revelation chapter 7, 1 through 7. Right? Then it also tells you about the great multitude of the speckled bird of the Israelite foreigners that look like the heathen but whose bloodline go back to one of the 12 sons of Jacob, of the 12 tribes of Israel, that have been scattered into those nations, you know, year after year, decade after decade, in the lands of their captivity where they were scattered, through the diaspora, the scattering, which is part of our, our curse and part of our exile from Israel. That's part of the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 15 through 68, of what would happen to us for our continued disobedience to keeping God's law. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah's law, statutes, and his commandments that he had commanded us. Right? Verse 2nd Ezra, chapter 2, verse 38. Arise and stand. Behold, the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord, which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the world, of the Lord. So like you. Let me say that again. Arise up and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. Okay? So those of us that stand up for righteousness, okay, that stand on these street corners, okay, pretty soon the famine of the word is going to be out there by law. You will not be able to find the truth anywhere. These are the last days of the truth being put out there on mainstream media. After this, these devils are going to try to do everything they can to put a stop to the truth because their kingdom and their rulership was based on a lie. Okay? White privilege and white supremacy was based on a lie. Okay? These devils couldn't tell the truth if the truth came up and beat them in the crack of the ass. They'll tell a lie for, for self-preservation. That's what these devils do. That's the reason why we call them the devil the Bible speaks of. The Caucasian white man. First thing that come out of their mouth is a fucking lie. They try to do anything and say anything to get you to believe them. That way they can lead you off a fucking cliff. Okay? Never trust these devils. Like it tells you in Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 12, verse, uh, verse 10. See that? All I did was tell the truth. Okay? Okay? <laughs> you know, hey, I apologize, man, but you know, I'm a little too real for it, you know? Right? I rise up and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord, which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. Take thy number, O Sion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. Right? We went out. We kept the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. We came away from the things that we love to do or to be a part of the world. Okay? We started reading the Bible. 
studying to show ourselves approved unto the Most High God in heaven, workmen that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the words of truth. Okay, we had righteous teachers to teach us the way that we should go, and we went and stood on our own feet, standing boldly before the faces of, of those that have afflicted us. Right? Take thy number, O Sion, the remnant of Israel, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of thy children, whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. Right? So <clears throat> that means that we're going to be saved. That means that the Most High is going to put us back in our righteous, our righteous rulership over all nations upon the face of the earth. Right? Because our punishment is over with. Right? I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number. And they all praised the Lord with songs. It tells you the same thing in Revelation chapter uh, chapter 12 and in chapter 7. Right? Who are these that be they that are dressed in white? Right? Who are they? Right? I, Ezra, 2 Ezra chapter 2 verse 42. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number. The great multitude. Revelation chapter 7 verse 9. Right? And they all praised the Lord with songs. Right? Praise in the name of Yahweh and in the praise and the name of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Right? And in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. Right? So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal. Right? So we came out of the world, okay, and started practicing the righteous acts of the righteous, of the prophets. Right? It tells you in Judges chapter 5 verse 11, right? Where we would rehearse the righteous acts. The righteous acts consist of fasting. Oh, okay. Whatever, man. Okay, hey. Okay. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? And the angel said, and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the Most High. Right? The name of the Most High is Yahweh. The name of his son is Yahweh Shai. Right? He came in his father's name and the world rejected him. Others came in their own name in the name of Jesus and everybody just jumped on their lap. The whole world followed in behind wickedness and, and uh, idolatry. Right? See, that's what happened. Right? See, check it out, man. Devil's war. Right? Now are they crowned and received palms. Then I said unto the angel, what young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God, Yahweh, Shai, Hamashiach, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them which stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people, what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy God thou hast seen. You see what I'm saying? So, the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has instructed certain men and persuaded them in the spirit to come out here and preach the gospel, the true gospel, instead of them goddamn churches that are telling you prosperity doctrine. Do this and do that, and I'll send up a prayer for you. So, they've made the word of the Most High God of none effect. They take the words of the Most High God and they sell it for money. Right? Look at Bishop Nate. He's selling t-shirts. 
He's selling uh, DVDs, right, and CDs, teaching the wrong gospel, right? He's not doing what he was originally supposed to do, which was his, his reasonable service. Now he took the bag like Judas Iscariot did. $150 million? Really? How the fuck is a nigga worth $150 million? How the fuck does that work? Okay, he took the bag. That's why. Right? 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. The all that is speaking about are Israelites. And only elect few of those Israelites are going to be saved here in these last days. That's it. The Most High is not coming to save all of his people. Okay? Ain't going to happen. Okay? He's going to save those that, have, that were predestinated that he chose before the foundations of the world. <laughs> okay, how you doing? Okay. Okay, how you doing? All right, okay. You know, which is all good, you know. Hey, what's up, man? Okay, so you know, like I said before, I'm out here trying to preach the gospel to the people. That's all I can do. You know, they done pushed out a, 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 a law, the 367 bill, that's gonna make it illegal to preach on a street corner, to be it, make it illegal to pray in, in, uh, uh, in openly, Okay, and to read your Bible. That's how evil these goddamn people are. They did the same thing as it says in 1 Maccabees chapter uh, uh, chapter 1, verse 50. They said that anybody that had the, the words of the Most High God of the Covenant in their possession, uh, the Caesar at that time was Antiochus Epiphanes, said that they should be put to death. So we're back, we back to square one. Okay, like it tells you in 1 Maccabees, chapter 1 verse 41 to 50 right that's where we're at let's read that right quick okay first Maccabees chapter 1 verse 41 moreover King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and that's what they're doing through this radio frequency identification microprocessor that they want to put underneath your hand, uh, underneath your skin, so this way they can keep track of your whereabouts, keep track of your money expenditures, of what you're spending your money on. Huh? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, well, I love you too, man. What's what's the matter? Hey, y'all, this is, this is my nephew. This is my sister's kid. He came to visit me today. You know what I'm saying? It brought his kids down here. Okay. So what's happening, man? Hey, man, I've been uh, preaching every week out here. Uh, two go by here all the time. Uh, uh, everybody else go by here all the time. They home. Uh, Nene and Fee came by here the other day. Sorry about that, y'all. Getting off, off, off kilter and everything. But, uh, you know, and uh, Nene got mad and pissed off at me because she, uh, I don't believe in uh, Sister Ray Boys. No. Yeah, so she's mad about that. What's your, 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 Right? Oh, yeah. Right? That's, I, that's, that's my channel. Just go over there, and uh, I'm doing the best I can uh, to bring edification. And, uh, so keep I'm, the knowledge. Ain't nothing wrong with spreading the knowledge and the word from Man, I, to that, everybody. Uh, this young man came over here tripping about he wasn't ready to give up. Uh, he wasn't ready to give up. He wanted to stay in the world. Crazy shit I ever heard of, man. You know, I mean, these people are insane. There's an uh, Edomite devil that uh, 
drove by here and threw up the devil horns at me. Praise Satan, driving down the fucking street, right before y'all came up. You know, doesn't make no sense, man. I mean, how the fuck you gonna worship the creature more than the creator? Yeah. Oh, Darius can do that. Hell, you know, he better at it than me. Yeah, he ain't got the best thing. You know, like I said before, I'm still at the house. You know, so, uh, ain't no big deal. No, I don't want to come around here and call no, no friction in the neck. Right, you know what I mean? Right. Well, ain't no big deal. Well, it should be. No more. Right? Yeah, and, you know, but, you know, yeah. you know how the Mexican people is, you know, they don't, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't forgive as easy. I forgive it, but I'm going to start getting in heaven and being able to forgive. Exactly. So, you know, she's going to be left here now. Okay, so you know, I you know I got I got family members, you know they stay over here on the north side of town, man. This this is where the vast majority of Esau Edom had put our people, you know, uh, 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 the so-called black man and the Hispanic people, Mexicans. This is where the vast majority of the people are, and the Most High told uh, told Isaiah uh, to go to the whole to go to Israel and preach the gospel to the people. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I try to preach the gospel to the people. That's all I can do, you know? But anyway, moreover, Antiochus, the king, 1 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 41, wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. And everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Right? Yep, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath, right? So they want us to start all over to do the same thing by pushing this unrighteous law, right? The 367 law, which says it's uh, be, uh, the, uh, the anti-Semitism act or whatever the fuck they're calling it nowadays. I mean, you know, it's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. You see what I'm saying? Okay, how can a Shemite who is myself be anti-Semitic. That's bullshit. Okay. Jacob and Esau. Okay. Both come from Isaac, the son of Abraham, the son of promise. Okay. Abraham comes straight out of the blood out of Shem. So how does that work? Well, okay. So cool. All right. So how does that work, man? It don't make no sense. You see how it don't make sense? It's ridiculous. Right? Okay, it's hypocrisy. That what they want to do is they want to get the Bible out of the way. What they want to do is they want to stop us from preaching against their kingdom and bringing shit down. Because the more we preach, the more that they try to put shit together falls apart. See? They know this. So they try and... Uh, it, what we preach goes against the narrative of what these devils are pushing. Okay? So they trying to put a stop to it. It ain't gonna work. I can tell you that right now. Moreover, okay, where was I at? For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. Right? The laws done away with, do as thou will. Right? That's the strange law of the land. It's bullshit. Okay? The conclusion of the whole matter is to fear God and keep his commandments. Esau, Edom does not want you to keep the commandments. Because if you keep the commandments, that means that rulership switches hands. Right? Let's get it. Ecclesiastes. Or Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 10, 
verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people unto another. Right? That's the reason why they're doing it, man. They want to keep their wicked kingdom going. They want to continue to rule over the Israelites scattered on into the four corners of the earth. They want to continue to drink our blood and eat our flesh. This is what they're doing. That's what they do in Hollywood. They drink our blood and call it adrenochrome. You see what I'm saying? They've been doing it for centuries. It just now came into the light of the on mainstream media. So they're trying to put a stop to the whole shit. It's like you. Uh, it's Mata, uh, M A T A Z A. You're going to come up with two channels. Both of them is mine. M so, like everybody, hold on. M A T A Z A. What? Right. M A T A Z A. Okay, space L A. Okay. Okay, that's all good, man. But that's where I'm at. That's, them is my two channels. Uh, it's a couple of hold on. It's a couple of other channels I want you to want you to listen to. It's called. Uh, just type in. Uh, go back to YouTube. Type in Remnant Save. Type in Remnant Save 144.
Okay. You know, so, you know, I'm trying to help anybody and everybody that's willing to, to be saved to get the fuck out of here because I don't want my, I don't want my baby uh, to, to, to die either. You know what I mean? So, I try to get them out of here as best I can, you know, you know, teach them as much as I can, as long as I can, by as much as I can, you know. Whereas, let's go back here to, uh. First Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 44, 43. Yet many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land and forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple and that they should profane the Sabbaths and festival days. And this is what they want, they're trying to get us to do, to go back to doing that, to go back to worshiping them as God on earth. Sister Ray Boys, your punk bitch superstar, all that old gay shit. Okay, that's what they're trying to do. And pollute the sanctuary in holy people, set up altars and groves and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts. That they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profanation. This is the reason why they're trying to do it by passing this unrighteous anti-Semitic act bullshit. Right? To the end that they might forget the law and change all the ordinances. And whosoever would not do so according to the commandment of the king, he said he should die. Right? Revelation chapter 13 verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive an M-A-R-K in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right? That, okay, let's get it. So I don't want to mess it up. Okay, then we're going to go back to... Uh, And he causeth all, both small and great, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save that he had the M-A-R-K, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name, 666, the number of a man. A man was created on the sixth day, right? See, and that's what they're basically going back to. Okay, Revelation chapter 3, 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay, so the only way that we're going to be killed is if they shut off the... the, the uh, the, the microchip, they shut off your ability to buy and sell. You see what I'm saying? So what we're trying to do is get our people out of the way, get them to repent, so this way they would be covered by the grace and mercy that has been afforded them uh, by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, where the, the blood of Yahweh Shai would cover them and their families. Right? Let's get it. Isaiah 65. Isaiah 65. 
Nice luck. First. Right? Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen, for the Lord Yehovah shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name. Right? Isaiah 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Right? So the Most High is coming back to destroy a lot of people, man. He ain't coming to be your friend. Right? Isaiah 26 and 10, let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and not behold the majesty of the Lord. Right? Those that would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Is this not dealing unjustly? Right? In the land of uprightness, where they, they do not behold the majesty of the Lord, and the majesty of the Lord is to fear him and keep his commandments. They say that the law is done away with, do as thou wilt, right? So favor is being shown to these devils, but they can't do it right. Like I said earlier in the video, he's had three opportunities. The Grecian captivity, the Roman captivity, and the American captivity, and all three of them fell for the same reason. Greed, money, power, okay? Isaiah 25 and seven, and he will destroy. And flip me off. You see that? Wow. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Okay? Now, when the day started, it was very, very cloudy. Right? Like it was going to rain. Okay? Now. What the hell? Okay. It was cloudy. It looked like it was going to rain at first, right? Okay. Isaiah 25 and 7. And he will destroy in this mountain, meaning this government, Basra of the Hebrew prophets, Babylon the Great, America, the land of indigenous holocaust and home of the slaves. Right? He will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Right? So that's what the Lord has done. So these devils are trying to sweep all of this stuff that has been uncovered underneath the rug and throw the rug over the shit and go back to business as usual. So I'm pushing this radio frequency identification microprocessor as the mark of the beast under your skin for them to keep track of you Keep track of your whereabouts, what has your medical records, your digital identification as to who you are, where you work, and how much money you make. Okay? And those of us that don't work, they have this program called Universal Basic Income, UBI, where you get $2,000 a month. They're going to incentivize turning against us, right? Where it says in the book of Luke, Well, let's go to Mark, since I turn to Mark first. Right? Mark, chapter, uh, chapter 13, verse 9. But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues you shall be beaten, and you shall be brought before the rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. Right? And the gospel must first be published among all the nations before this happens. So the gospel has reached to the four corners of the earth. 
That's the reason why they're pushing this unrighteous anti-Semitic act bill and pushing it, turning it into a law to make it uh, illegal to preach, making the Bible illegal to be in your possession, right? How well is that gonna go over with the people? Okay, the only way that they can clear up their consciences of wickedness is this Bible. Being able to go to church every Sunday. What is the pastor gonna preach out of then? Right? How does that work? See, because they're making it illegal to have a Bible. They're gonna make it illegal to stand on the street corner and preach the gospel. They're gonna make it illegal to go to church. See, that's how you know that's the end of Esau Edom's kingdom. We're at the end of this bastard. Second Exodus chapter six, verse nine. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Remember, Jacob wrestled an angel and his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. Jacob had four wives. He had two wives and two concubines. Out of those four women came 12 boys. Okay? These are the 12 tribes of Israel that the covenant has passed and promise of salvation from Isaac to Jacob, to Jacob's 12 sons, the 12 tribes of Israel. Esau, Edom had that same deal, but he sold it. He despised his birthright and sold it for one morsel of meat. He sold it for the modern day equipment to a fucking pot roast. So the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai has no respect for these Edomite devils. Okay? So, as I was saying, when they, uh, those that, of us that don't worship the image of the beast or be a part of their, or participate in their cashless society should be killed, meaning that we're going to be put in fever camps, beaten, tortured, right? Put in prisons, having our livelihoods taken away from us, right? That's the reason why the, uh, Paul the Apostle uh, said that uh, make sure that you count the cost because it's going to cost you everything to pick up your cross and follow after Yahweh Shai. I already told my old lady. I already told my wife, man. I already told her. Okay? These motherfuckers going to come to me on my job or they're going to come to the house at 3.34 o'clock in the fucking morning and charge me with terrorists. Okay? For standing up and reading out the Bible. Okay? Real shit. So we're waiting for a decree from an elder apostle to her to stop preaching. That's all we waiting on. Once I stop preaching, I'm gonna leave these signs out of here. They can take them home. My job is done. Their usefulness is at an end. I don't need them no more, okay? I would have done my job. When they look on it, they can read and see for themselves. Take them home, I wouldn't give a shit. Okay, but until that day, they're still in my possession and I'm gonna still come out here preaching the gospel to the people. Right, so if we don't wanna participate in their cashless society, they out to kill us, right? Mark chapter 13, verse 11, but when they shall lead you, and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak, neither do ye premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour that ye speak, for it, it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Spirit. Okay? Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father of the son, the children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. Right? So the time of great tribulation and Jacob's trouble is at the door. Once they pass this unrighteous law and this anti-Semitic act, once they pass that bullshit, okay, we can't preach no more. You can't even go to church on Sunday no more. What for? It's against the law. The federal government gonna come and shut the door. Every Sunday morning, they gonna put a deal up. It's illegal to go to church. What you gonna do? Antiochus Epiphanes, pushed the same law years ago. 
okay? And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Right? For the, the name of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Right? Because they're going to uh, attribute that name with the so called Black Hebrew Israelite movement. And then put a name tag of T E R R O R I S T S. And tag that uh, with us. Okay? That's the only way to stop the truth. Right? Let's go to Amos. Chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, and shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. Okay? In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. Okay? They're going to want to hear the words of the Lord. They're going to want to hear what the Lord God, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai has to say. But they won't be able to find us. They're going to come to us and put us in jail. Okay? You're going to have false prophets and false preachers and apostles come out here telling you a goddamn lie. Do what the white man tells you to do. Take the mark. Take the RFID chip. That's the only way to feed your family. And people gonna believe it. Right? I mean, that's what these goddamn devils are gonna plan on doing, man. These people aren't righteous. Right? Let's get back to uh, Antiochus Epiphanes, right? First Maccabees chapter one, verse 51. In the self same manner wrote he to his whole kingdom and appointed overseers over all the people, right? So they're going to appoint FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency to oversee all of Operation Garden Plot, Operation Cable Splicer and the Rex 84 program. During the times of martial law and civil unrest calls for the rounding up and incarceration of all black Hebrew Israelites in America. Okay. Okay. If you call yourself black, you're going to jail. The only way to get out of there is to take the radio frequency identification chip in order for you to participate in the cashless society. Because when you get out, everything is cashless. Okay. That's the plan. In the self same manner wrote he to his whole kingdom and appointed overseers over all the people, commanding the cities of Judah to sacrifice city by city. Right? Sacrifice, brother should be given up by brother. Sister's gonna tell on the sister. The father gonna tell on the son. The son gonna tell on the parents. So that we all should be put into a family camp to be killed. Okay, see how that works? city by city then many of the people were gathered unto them to wit everyone that forsook the law and so they committed evils in the land and drove the Israelites into secret places even whithersoever they could flee for succor now they've got a new movie coming out called Disciples this new movie is about evangelical Christians having to run because they've outlawed the Bible okay which they've already passed the law. So for them putting that movie out, they're telling the people ahead of time what to expect. Right? First Maccabees chapter one, 
verse 56. And when they had written in pieces the books of the law, which they found, they burnt them with fire. And whithersoever was found any with the book of the testament, or any, or if any consented to the law, the king's commandment was that they should put him to death. Thus did they by their authority unto all the Israelites every month to as many as were found in the cities. Right? So it's not going to matter whether you are a Hebrew Israelite or a Christian. They're going to kill your ass anyway because you know that the Son of God is a Negro from the tribe of Judah. And he is not an Edomite, Frickerwood, blonde haired, blue eyed homosexual. Okay? Sorry about all these ad hominem attacks, but they just come out like water. Okay? That's what they're trying to put a stop gap against. The truth coming out. They don't want the truth out there. They set up this entire society based on a lie, based on bloodshed, rape, and murder, and theft. Like it tells you in John chapter 10, verse 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal, kill, and destroy. Right? But I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Roughly paraphrased. Okay? Alright, let's go to second second Corinthians. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. Okay? So these Edomites, that's a laundry list of what they do on a regular fucking basis. So how are they going to be saved? See? You see the hypocrisy? The law is done away with, do as thou will bullshit. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 Verse 1, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Right? For in this we groan earnestly, desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. Right? What does it mean? 1 Corinthians chapter, 5, chapter 15, verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of the eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Changed into what? 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 53. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? Right? Let's get 2nd Ezra.
chapter 6. So like it. Verse 24. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Okay, so they're going to cut off all of the power. That's the reason why they hooked up your water grid, uh, your water system, uh, out in front of your house, okay, up to the electrical grid, so they can shut it all off at once. Okay? Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and shall see my salvation and the end of your world. And the men that are received shall see it who have not tasted death from their birth and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. Okay? So that means mortal put on immortality, corruption put on incorruption. Okay? For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which hath been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Right? Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, Thou hast said, they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Okay, so the Most High in heaven hated sinners. Okay. And the vast majority of the people that are sinners are Israelites. That's the reason why two-thirds of our people had to be left here and melted. They have to be cut off and die because they believe that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is going to save them out of all their troubles. That's the reason why they go down to Egypt, spiritual Sodom in Egypt, which is America, and depend on SRS, HUD housing, right? Uh, 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 welfare, right? The welfare card, right? They go down there to depend on Egypt and go to Egypt for help. That's the reason why two thirds of our people afraid to lose their job went and took the wicked Satan's piss in their arm. Now they falling out left and right. Okay. Going off into the heaven to give account for the things that they've done in their body, whether it be good or bad. Right? And now, O oh Lord, behold these heathen, which have ever been reviewed as nothing, have become to be lords over us and to devour us. Right? And the heathen that are in control is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. That's the reason why we're complaining about this devil in the hopes that the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah will save us out of the hand of this animal. Right? So I, let's get Job. Chapter 5. Well, if I can get it. Right, Job chapter 5, verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. Right? They meet with darkness in the daytime and grow in the noonday as in the night. 
right? They have these wicked counsels where they say, who seeth us or who knoweth us? The House of Representatives groping in darkness at the daytime pass an unrighteous bill that tells you that it's anti-Semitic, okay, to call those imposters on their bullshit and to make the Bible illegal, to make preaching illegal, right? Salakia. Salakia.